Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. He called them out, not himself. You yeah. put them sorry motherfuckers in the game. Nobody told you to sub a dude who averages 1.5 and put him as a starter. When you gonna take responsibility for the lineups you putting out? The Lakers starting five, the way it was, they were only averaging 82 points as a starting five, which is low. Yes. Right? Well, considering LeBron and AD averaging 50. <laughs> yeah. So now you sub in Van, which pushes you down to 68 points a game. Just to show you how bad that is, the worst team in the NBA, the Detroit Pistons, they're averaging 73 points as a starting five. So the Detroit Pistons starting five is better than the Lakers starting five right now. Wow. And per point production. Stop. Stop these dumbass lineups. Gilbert Reeves is right. He's right. Darby Ham is the problem. I've been noticed. But it's also a lot of other issues with this Lakers team. But so I'm going to be explaining that in this video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the biggest problem with the LA fakers. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. First of all, before I get in this video, I want to say Happy New Year to all y'all out there, all you and your family out there. Hopefully, y'all have a lot of goals for this year. And if y'all do, don't talk about your goals. Just do them. We're not trying to hear all these resolutions and none of that. No. If you have, if you have what what you're going to be planning to do this year, do it. Stop saying what you're going to do. And do it, and we and then show the results. So that's all I got to say, man. But so let's get to the Lakers. The other night they got blown out by the New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans got their revenge on them after the Lakers beat them in the the tournament, the end season tournament. And now the Lakers are three and eight since the end season tournament. And you know what this reminds me of? Y'all watch Coach Carter? Remember when Coach Carter, that team was rolling. They beat a, one of the biggest teams in the in that um, league in a tournament. And they was feeling themselves. Like they just had a shades on. They was partying all night, having a good time. And then Coach Carter got on them about that. And they started losing. This is the same situation with the LA Lakers. They, they felt they start, they start feeling itself. They think they were the best team in the world. They there was they nobody can mess with them. Well, apparently, obviously nobody can mess with AD and LeBron. But the rest of the team is garbage. I'ma say right now, the rest of the team is poo. P do the little. This team look, and Darvin Ham, you have not made a good adjustment since. The Warriors series. Remember the, that only adjustment where y'all put Lonnie Walker in the fourth quarter in game four. That was the best adjustment you made. Since then, you haven't made no great adjustment. You ain't made no adjustment versus Denver, obviously. You ain't making no adjustments on his losing streak. You ain't making no adjustments starting the season. You ain't doing, what have you done? Why would you put... Th this is the thing. This, this is... What well, arenas? I'm green arena uh, arenas on. What in the world makes you think? Starting three centers will help you win a game, and not just that. What makes you think starting defensive players that those doesn't operate or doesn't occupy offense at all in the game with LeBron and AD? LeBron running the show. And then, yes, Austin Reeves has been very inconsistent this year. Okay? Right. 
But even though Dio has been struggling, you still have to have Dio in the game. Like, there, there's no other way around it. You got to have some kind of offense with, around LeBron and AD. You got to. You starting Jared Vanderbilt? Not just that. You starting Cam Reddish? You're not going to win anything. You're not going to beat these high power offensive teams. This is not the this is not the 1980s, 1990s no more. This is not that. Early 2000s. Where you the defensive teams won. No. You see these teams scoring 150 points, 160 points. Hell, 170 points. You're going to have to score. Defense is important, but in the regular season, you got to win games to get to the playoffs. And right now, y'all in the play-in. The play-in. Y'all are worse than the Phoenix Suns, who we a lot of analysts been talking bad about. But since they got the whole three, big three together, they've been winning. Y'all look kind of worse than them right now. And you got LeBron playing on his mind at the age of 39, he just turned. Damn, man, at age of 80, averaging 26 points per game. And AD is playing like AD. He's really been balling. I have nothing bad to say about Anthony Davis. Who, it, who when y'all trying to put all the defensive players in, we have, they don't have enough defense in him. He's a defensive player to Kennedy. He's a D-P-O-Y. Kennedy. Right now. Y'all need more offense. Dio has been sticking it up, but he at least going to get you something. Austin Reeves has been inconsistent, but he's going to get you something. Jared Benwell, what in the heck is he going to give you offensively? A rebound, put back. Pass to him, dunk. That's it. Cam Reddish, stay in the corner. Hey, I, I'll call you later. Uh, let me shoot this three real quick. Up oh, break. What what what, what are these lineups? And the stat that Eric Gilbert is in is crazy. 82 points. Lakers. Y'all are the fakers right now. This is this is pathetic. How y'all how y'all playing? Obviously, y'all playing like y'all not serious right now. And y'all playing with not no really intensity other than Anthony Davis and LeBron James. Everybody else. What what was the point of Christian Wood? What was that pickup? What was the what was the point of him? Nothing. Wasn't he supposed to be this, you know, the the weaker version of Anthony Davis when he when he's like, you know, not on his game? He hasn't even been average. I don't even know what he averages. Who cares? He hasn't been balling. He hasn't been doing anything. We had that one good game versus Cleveland. That's it. Lakers. Y'all better get together, man. Y'all gotta make a try to make a move for something. Because this 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 doesn't look good. Will Hashimura is he's a liability defensively, but he's at least gonna get you buckets. So I get y'all having him out there. But Y'all got to try to, I guess, try to make another move. I, honestly, I don't know who who, who y'all can get right now that's really going to help this team right now. Because starting the year, it was already, you know, some question marks. And the question marks are coming true now. AD and LeBron is not going to do it by this. They're not going to, them even together, they're not going to win. They're not going to win. Unless y'all get a core that is dedicated, that wants it bad, that knows how to get buckets, that's not gonna be sporadic and inconsistent, and that's not and, and don't just get defensive players that don't, they don't even know how to put the ball in the bucket. Lakers, get it together, man. That's all I gotta say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, give me two thousand subscribers, and I appreciate y'all tuning for this video. Be on board, well, and I'm out.